Hi everybody and thank you for watching. So here is another CVS haul. So I did go back to CVS to try and utilize all the extra bucks that I have. Like always, I'll go over the breakdown of each of the deals. But to be honest, I did not spend that money because of the glitch that is happening with the double dip of the extra bucks. I kind of just rolled a lot of the extra bucks. So I would um, use the paper extra bucks, buy the items, earn an another extra bucks, but then those extra bucks that i use on the first transactions i send it to my card and use it on the second transaction so almost every other transaction most of it is free because i am double dipping with the extra bucks and utilizing those and so uh that's about it so i really could not tell you how much everything cost um all up i think i spent looking at all of my subtotals um not including tax i spent just under ten dollars but I did get quite a lot back in um, Ibotta. And so usually with all these transactions, I kind of just use my PayPal debit card. So I'm just rolling the money. So to me, all this work got to be free because I'm using the double dip with the extra bucks glitch as well as just rolling Ibotta money and then getting more Ibotta money back. And so uh, that's about it. I will go over each of the deals. So the first deal that I did is the spend 30, get 10. And on this transaction, I picked up one of the Thai pods at $12.99. I picked up one of the Gain at $6.99, as well as the large Thai liquid at $12.99. So for all of those three items there, it came to $32.97. We have a $3 digital coupon on the Thai pods, a $1 digital coupon on the Gain, and then a $3 on the Thai liquid. So altogether it's $32.97, taking those $7 in um, digital coupons off, you'll pay uh, basically $25.97, get the $10 back, work out to be a cost of $15.97 or about like just over $5 each, which is not bad for these large Tide um, products here. But like I said, I ended up um, rolling the extra bucks so it worked out to be free but i will show you my transaction anyway so over here you've got the tide liquid the tide pods and the gain so it came to 32.97 there are my three digital coupons i rolled 25 dollars paid a dollar and seven because i did buy a bag and then i did get uh the ten dollars back so it worked out to be cost of 1607 or 535 each which is not bad for those products if you are starting off um the next deal that i did i'm just trying to find it here so i basically rolled um all of those same extra bucks into my next transaction and then i picked up the axe so same breakdown if you watch my other video so the axe they are buy one get one 50 percent off so one is 679 the other one rang up at 339 so for the two of them it comes to 1018 we do have a four dollar off two coupon from a previous insert that coupon doesn't expire until the 28th so if you do if you did get that in your unilever you can utilize that so you'll pay 618 get four dollars back in extra bucks work out to be a cost of two dollars and 18 cents or a dollar nine so i did buy that one i also did the palmolive deal so the palmolive it is spend 10 get three it's not the best deal but uh, like I said, I'm just uh, rolling those extra bucks. So the, this huge one here, this is like a 32 ounce. That one is $7.99, regular price. And then the medium size one is $4.99. So for the two of them, it came to $12.98. We did get a coupon in a, in a smart source for $1 off 32 ounces or more. So that worked on the large one. And then there is a 50 cent digital coupon on the medium. So after the those coupons, you pay eleven forty eight, getting three dollars back. Work out to be a cost of eight dollars and forty eight cents, or four twenty four each, which is quite high. Like we always try and get those for under a dollar, but in the end, I was still happy to pick those up because I am just rolling extra bucks. And so another item on here, you don't see it here. Um, there was a clearance uh, cable, like a phone cable. Um, for my iPhone, it was on clearance for like five dollars. I just picked it up because I need it for my trip It's not here because it's already in my luggage, but that's part of this uh, transaction. So I will show you my receipt 
So over here, you do have the axe, the buy one, get one 50% off. That is a cable that came up as 512. There's a two pound Molive. So I have the $1 paper coupon for the Palmolive, the 4 for 2 for the Axe, 50 cent digital for the Palmolive. These $20 in extra bucks actually came from the other, um, the other transaction, so the one that I just did. So those are basically free because I just sent them back to my card. And then so all in all, um, I also have a 20% off anything that just came off because it expired um, today. All in all for everything, I paid just the $2 extra bucks and 73 cents. I paid $2 and 73 cents. And then I did get um, the... I've got it here. I got the $3 back for the Palmolive as well as the $4 for the Axe. So for me, this work out to be a moneymaker because all of those extra bucks there were from the previous transaction and then they were still on my card because of the glitch. And so I resent it to my card and was able to use it there. So I did that transaction. Um, the next deal that I did uh, so I did the Nivea deal. So not the best, but I'm just rolling extra bucks. So the Nivea, they are $6.49. Buy two, get $5. So two of them comes to $12.98. We do have $4 off two coupons. They don't expire till the 28th, so they're still good as well. So you pay $8.98, get the $5 back. Work out to be a cost of $3.98 or a uh, $1.99 each which is still not bad if you are starting off with couponing but a lot of times we can get these for free so I did do that um, another deal that I did on this one I did the center fill so you saw so I actually have three cards um, I did use two of them I the other day and so I decided to use my third card uh, today because of all the extra bucks that were going to expire on my trip so i did do the center fill on this card so if you saw my other video i did pick up the cleansers today i picked up the body wash so the body wash is part of the same promotion it is spend 20 get five so these body wash are 10 29 each two of them comes to 20 dollars and 58 cents we do have those six off of two paper coupons from previous inserts so you pay 14.58 you'll get five dollars back i also submitted these on ibotta and um the reason why i picked these ones up there is a bonus on ibotta that if you uh redeem two a uh, unique set of fill you get a bonus 50 cents so because i did the cleanser and this one i'm technically this is part of the body uh so i got four dollars for uh, two dollars on each of them as well as a bonus 50 cents so after all that it does come to five dollars and eight cents or 254 each which is not bad so if that is a product that you use um not bad paying two dollars and 54 cents for those and so I did that on its own transaction, just the Nivea and the Cetaphil. So over here, you've got the two Nivea, the two Cetaphil. There is my six off of two for the Cetaphil, my four for two for the Nivea. I basically uh, rolled $22 in extra bucks, paid $1.56. I got the $5 for the Nivea, and I also got the $5 for the Cetaphil. I just used that on another transaction, so you don't see it here. And so that's that. Um, I decided to do the spend 30, get 10 again on my other card. And so it's similar breakdown. It's just I took advantage of the glitch and split up my transaction. So on my first transaction, I picked up the type pods and then I picked up the gain. So for those two, I will show you it here. So there's the tide and the gain. So I have my $3 digital coupon and my $1. I spent $11 in extra bucks and paid $4.98. So I paid $15.98. I didn't get any extra bucks on this one here because I haven't spent the 30. So you got here, I still need to spend 10 more dollars. And so I went and did um, the downy. So I picked up these to hide uh the downy beads they are 12.99 and we do have a two dollar digital coupon so i did pick that one up um so you see here there's the two dollar digital coupon so this five four and 199 which is actually two is actually from here so those were all basically free so i paid zero but i did get the ten dollars back there so by utilizing um 
or by splitting up my transaction and taking advantage of the glitch uh, for these items here it worked out to be a cost of only 5.98 because i did get i spent 15.98 and i got 10 dollars back and this one is free so not bad there um if you wanted to take advantage of the glitch and get those products and the last items that i picked up i did do the revlon so these Revlon tweezers here, um, I picked them up. So most of the tools, um, I picked them. this one up here for twelve uh, $12.49. And we do have a five off of any Revlon uh, CRT that's printing for everybody. There's also a four off of any Almay. Those two CRTs are attaching to this. So I did uh, pick this one up use those two crts i also had a one dollar off any revlon tool i printed it from coupons.com a while ago it expired on saturday but my store still allowed me to use it so i did pick that one up there um so over here you can see uh there is my one dollar coupon there's my two crts uh this two dollar crt here this all these two dollar extra bucks that's actually from another transaction um so I that worked out to be free for me because I only paid 49 cents that two dollars was um, part of the glitch and so I also got um, there's a butter rebate for one dollars off and then there's also a Revlon bonus I, I guess I because I bought some Revlon at Rite Aid it tracked for this one as well so I got two dollars back from my butter so this worked out to be a one dollar and 51 cent money maker which I'm happy about and then I did it again on my other card so it's a very similar breakdown this one just I had a 10% off anything and so I paid um, $2.44 and then uh, I'm waiting for Ibotta to reset. Um, I checked my husband's account. This He doesn't have this Ibotta rebate. Hopefully mine resets from uh, doing the other transaction. If not, this will cut to be a cost of $2.44 which I'm more than happy to pay. And so that's it. That's all the deals that I got here at CVS. I really could not tell you uh, the totals of all of this. There's about, uh, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got seven transactions here. Um, all up, I looked at my PayPal debit card. I spent about, including taxes, I actually spent about uh, $15, but then I ended up getting all that back in uh, rebate money from my barter. So for me, all this work got to be free purely because of the CVS glitch and just rolling those extra bucks and also redeeming it for I bought a rebate. And so that's it. I think I am done for the week. Uh, I've done two trips at CVS. I've done two trips at Rite Aid. I really need to start packing my stuff because we are leaving on Friday. But um, I was so glad that I was able to go out with a bang and get all these items and all the extra bucks on my account don't expire till um, I get back. So when I get back after President's Day, I should be able to do a massive haul and utilize all of those extra bucks. And so yeah, here is my CVS haul. Thank you for joining me. Thank <laughs> you.